Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro where somehow after a mediocre start to the year we are pushing for the President's Trophy. I have no idea how we got here but we did. Right now Scott is sitting at a 284 GAA with a 910 save percentage which is actually pretty good and a record of 25, 20, and 2. Unfortunately we once again had a season where our GM did nothing at the trade deadline basically just left our team the way it is which I mean you know what we are doing very good so kind of understandable but also at the same time do you want to win the cup or not? You know, even though our team didn't really change, let's go ahead and see what we are looking like. Just to give you an update, we got Johnny Goudreau playing with Kent Johnson and Oliver Bjorkstrand. It's a decent first line. Our third and fourth lines used to be nuts, and now they're just basically average. We do have Kempe on the second line, but then Schwartz at 81 overall. So again, I have no idea how we're doing as well as we are. It's not like we're a defensive powerhouse, because we have 82 Ghoulie on the first pair, which, I mean, probably a good defenseman, but top two? I don't think so. And I would say that this is a reason, but based on our stats, it's not like we're carrying the team. I mean, I guess we could be, and, you know, we're just getting a lot of shots because our team isn't good which is why our save percentage isn't incredible, but I don't know. Because I'm just thinking, like, maybe a lot of our games are, like, 5-4, 6-5, stuff like that. Anyway, we have Washington here. Let's go ahead, simulate, and see if this is a game worth jumping into. Hopefully, it is. Go to the times 8, and Columbus has an early power play, and we can't capitalize. Absolutely brutal. You're all brutal. Washington's had two power plays in this first period. They couldn't capitalize either. Shots are even in this one. So this is anybody's game at the moment. Let's go ahead and start the second. Still nothing. I felt like I was gonna... I did. I did, in fact, jinx it. Dvorsky. Barry's one, making it one nothing. Washington. And I don't care. If it stays this way, we are absolutely going into the third. Yeah, this is a winnable game. Here we go, Jackets, a divisional team. Let's try to get it done. I don't know why. It's not like it's fall. We're in winter now, and I just cannot stop sneezing this morning, so... Maybe I'm getting sick. That would suck. Here we go, Johnny. Yep, take it wide. Oh, Rasmus Sandin's all over it, and he gets leveled. Oh my word, what a hit. Sebastian Ajo, Carter Verhage, the only player I've seen that is actually on the Capitals out here is Rasmus Sandin. All right, what do you got for me? He's in over the line, centers it, and I'll smother that, mostly because I didn't have a choice. Clean draw win for Washington. Not what I was hoping for. In the middle it goes, back to the point. Yeah, 100% saw that tip coming from a mile away. Little mitten save, and that time I did try to throw it out. Feel like I should have been able to, but it didn't work. Now let's get a clean draw win. Come on, Kent. Let's go. Win that face off. Last time that we did not, it resulted in a goal. Amazing. Wonderful effort on your behalf. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Where is it? It's in the feet of David, who headmans it to Johnny, does three. Not two, but three pointless dekes that result in literally nothing. Johnny, we need to talk. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, I predicted the point shot with the tip and couldn't even save that, but apparently that's easy. Yeah, 100%. Let's go. Yeah. He did let it rip, to be fair. Ooh, okay. I see you. The only person on our team right now that I could say is really putting in an effort is Marchenko. He has been... Phenomenal. Everywhere in this third period, but can't seem to score, unfortunately. That's a pretty decent try. Here we go, boys. Ooh, cheeky little backhand. Askarov is their goalie. All right. I see a number 43, but that last name is definitely not Wilson. So Tommy Boy has also moved on from the Capitals. I like the effort. Walks in, goes to rip one, but it gets blocked. Holy crap, there's just a big swarm in the slot there. They're clogging it up. Yep. Let's go. We are in it. It is a one goal lead now, Marchenko. What'd I say? What did I say? Guy's been a unit in this third period. Finally finds the back of the net. And now we have three minutes to get one more. Last minute. 
Will I get called to the bench? No, I won't. Or maybe. I'm going to stay in this cam just in case. But I feel like it's not happening this game. Here's Miro. That should have been in the glove. You got to be better than that, Scott. Especially at 95 overall. Are you kidding me? Go! Go, go, go! Kirill. I was just... Pumping your tires so hard. And he passes it out. What an absolute clown. Alright, well, that's an L. 32 shots and only two goals. You know, that's not too bad. I had my guy. And to be fair, Askarov had the game of a lifetime. 29 shots, only one goal against. Fair play. And he gets the first star. Yeah. Well, that is less than ideal. Let's sim to our next game against another divisional team here. And they are first in the entire league. So this is a massive one. Come on, Jackets. If we can beat them out, this will be a massive statement. Early power play. I guess I should turn up the simulation speaks. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. No. Can't score. We suck. I feel like the Isles have a bit of a dynasty going on here. Because weren't they the President's Trophy winners last year? I mean, not dynasty, but just a really good team consistently. There you go. Pulak buries one. It's one nothing. It is 2 nothing. Sonny Milano, literally seconds after. Well, I guess in game time, it was about two minutes. But still. Can we stop? Finally. The player that, you know, gets all of our goals, apparently. No one else can score. 3-1. Nah. Let's sim it. 6-2. Ugh. And now we face the third best team in the NHL. What is going on? Can we get a break? Can the lads please have an easy matchup? Although even those usually aren't easy. Goudreau scores on the first shot of the game. Fire me vertical. Still one nothing here. Five minutes to go in the second period. It looks like we might keep this lead going into the third and we sure do. All right. This is definitely a game worth jumping into. Two things on the line here. A W. And a shutout. Yeah, I said it. Here we go. It is time to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. And after two straight divisional losses, we're going up against an Atlantic team here. Where I would say a win isn't as important. But I feel like it still is right now because we are on a two-game losing streak. Maybe more. I'm not sure what the whole situation was before we came into this video. Got my heart going there. Nice try. And just a little bit of stuffing from Kent Johnson. A little Thanksgiving stuffing. Buries it, and it is a two-goal lead now. This had to be... I'm kind of surprised that it's not goaltender interference or something, because I feel like he sort of bumped into him. But maybe it was aft? I don't know. Anyway... Let's go. It is a two-goal lead for the good guys. Yep, just snuck it five-hole. Absolute mad lad. Oh, dear. Yeah, great shot block. The boys are laying it all on the line for me right now. They know what's at stake. They understand. Sorelli back at it again. Tried to go for a saucer across the ice, but three Columbus Blue Jackets were there to intercept it. So that is three people's hand-eye that you're challenging right there, Sorelli. And how'd that work out for you? Not very well. I'll tell you that. Sorry, I got scared. That shot was a little bit spooky. Get wrecked. Not too sure what was going on right there. Skinner went to take a slap shot. It somehow hit everything on the ice and then found its way towards me. Another... No! No! You hate to see it. You really do. Well, the good news is we already got one in this third, so... They didn't tie it up. We still have the one goal lead. But not for long. Because these guys are all over us right now. At least it feels that way. They're getting a lot of odd man rushes. Just a lot of chances in general. But... That backdoor pass was open. Ooh, okay. Headed to the power play. A little peeper for the boys. Get it started the right way here with a draw win. Oh, what a shot. That was insane. A bullet. And still can't bury it, unfortunately, because the puck meets Irene, the goalie's best friend, and we let up a shorty. What an absolute joke. And a tremendous save from... 
Who's their goalie again? I feel like I've definitely seen it. It's not Vasilevsky. Oh, was it the Anunin guy? Something like that? Yeah? Yeah? It was good passing, but no goal. Yes, that's my guy right there. Marchenko, you absolute legend. Gets another goal. Another clutch goal, might I add. And just like that, Columbus's lead is re-established. Individual effort from this guy. Walks out, avoids the poke check, and then just a little razy on the backhand. I think it went off of something, no? Maybe it just rode the goalie's pad and in. I, whatever, it's a goal. Wow, a save is made. And I very, very riskily passed that out. I don't know if riskily is a word. It kind of sounds weird, but I feel like it should be correct to it. Ooh. Oh. I just got absolutely annihilated. Wow. I bit on that fake shot so hard. And then he did some deke, went backhand. Yeah, right there. Oh my word. I've never been fooled like that in my life, I don't think. That's insane. So it was 1-0 coming into this third period, and now we are at 3-3. So that just shows you the state of everything that has gone on in the last 15 minutes. Where's Marchenko? I need you again. Put him on the ice immediately. Lindstrom gains center ice, and now the Tampa zone. Nice pass. Ooh. I liked it. There was a crowd in front. He let the shot go. But it was not the one, unfortunately. Good poke check there. Someone go help him. We're going to lose this battle, aren't we? Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Cheeky little save on Yafalo. Or as other people like to call him, Ayafalo. This game's really going to go to overtime, isn't it? I just have that feeling. Unless Tampa has something to say about it. Yeah, that's going out. Come on. No way I'm smothering that. Six seconds left? I don't know why I just like... I'm really struggling to talk again today. Don't know what's going on. So I feel like I saw seven, but then was like, oh, but by the time I say it, it's going to be six. And then I was like, six? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Just, uh, just allow it. Overtime. Three on three action. Different formations on the draw. And here's Johnny. There's Johnny. Lost the puck immediately. Nope, not today. Fool me once, never again. All right, let's get Marchenko out there and have this game ended. Absolutely brutal. Like, what am I meant to do there? I could sit further back in the net. But then, you know, the guy with the shot is just gonna bury it. I don't know. It's whatever. We're up against the Isles again here. I want to see how this one goes. Because they are still first in the league. Right now, they are out shooting us for zip. Oh, never mind. We're getting a few shots here. Let's go, Columbus. Get on the board. And we do. And guess who it is? It's Marchenko. Kirill the Thrill. Okay, Kucherov buries one. Milliseconds into the second period. So that's awesome. Is it going to be a 1-1 game? All right, let's just jump into this one, then sim the rest of the year. Today is, again, one of those days where I feel like I can't save anything. No matter what gets thrown on net, it seems to find a way. Not that one. That's a good start to this third. A little bit of a momentum booster. My positioning there was not good. Don't know what was going on in 2-3's head right there. Okay, wasn't ready for that one. The point shot, I was all over it, but that little... Not even rebound, because our player did have it, and then all of a sudden they didn't. Wasn't ready. Gotta catch those, Scott. You gotta catch those. Can't be giving out rebounds. We need control over the puck. Nice pass. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely understand why this team is good. They have a bunch of talent going on. They also just took a penalty. This could be our chance. 
to get the lead and then probably blow it on a stupid point shot. Good effort, good effort. But Phonics Copley's all over it and that poke check. Holy. He's like predicting things here. Let's go, Kempe. Let's go, Kempe. What a shot. Also, what an effort by whoever that was on our team to knock their guy off the puck. I think it was Pulak had it. Pelic, one of the two. And he said, nope, I'm going to take that now. Keeps it in the zone. Makes the pass. And now we have a lead. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the flex on the twig, too. Not a big deal. Great positioning on the shot. Fire me up. There is still nine minutes to go, though, and it is the current first place team in our division and the league. Obviously, if they're first place in the league, they're going to be first in our division. That's just how it works. I don't know. I meant to flying poke check, and my brain is just not having it today, so we're tied. Kempe almost had another one. Look at this guy go. He's the new Marchenko right now. Can't take him off the puck. Get it back to him. He'll find a way. Yeah, there you go. That's our guy. Ooh, I like the effort. Tried to stuff it short side there. Walks out. What a goat. That was crazy. The power behind that. Oh, no. So close again. Schwartz with it. Ripped a shot, to be fair. But Copley said, not today. This attack is magnificent. The amount of pressure that we are putting on right now is out of control. But we can't find the back of the net. That's going to be smothered, yeah. What do you got, Burakovsky? You got a cheeky little pass. That's what you have. But a big old glove save from Scotty to prevent the Islanders from going up in this game. Yes! Kempe again! Just finding a way. And Marchenko was on the ice. I'm not going to forget you. You are also a beautician. The lead is reestablished. And this time, there's only a minute 17 left. Still tons of time for Scott to screw up and let in a goal. Because I seem to be pretty good at doing that. Under 10 seconds remaining. I think it's safe to say that we got this. Oh my word, did I speak too soon. I might have. Kucherov. No, he lost it to Guli. The defenseman that I said shouldn't be a top two is proving me wrong, stripping the puck off of elite player Nikita Kucherov, and that's a dub over the first place team, might I add. I've only said that like, what, three, four, five, eight, twenty times this video? All right, good job, boys, but it is time to simulate the rest of the year now, and we should be a playoff team. Maybe. Honestly, we could have a collapse. I'd love to grab a coffee with you, Johnny. Absolutely love to do that. The Toronto Maple Leafs are the next team we will be playing, but it doesn't matter because like I said, we are simulating the rest of the year and just hoping that we make the playoffs. We are currently fourth in our division. Oh no. Okay, that's a big win over Carolina. Shutout as well. Ah, uh, we're wild carding. Two massive wins in a row there. That loss to Philly sucks, but we did bounce back with the dub. Okay, 44 wins. How are we not going to make the playoffs? When we have 45 wins and still four games left. Also, what was going on? The game was tripping out hard. Win some hockey games here, guys. Okay, I think we're in. That was a pathetic end of the year. But we still have 96 points. Another conversation with Johnny. This guy just can't get enough of me, apparently. What? What is it, Jonathan? Some of the guys are going to go check out Broadway. You're invited. That's sick. And our first round opponent is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well then, you've gotten us this far, you're the starter. Yeah, I mean, I'd hope so, considering I was a starter all year long. Let us go look at some stats, some statistics, if you will. With 96 points and 46 Ws, we finish fourth in the Metropolitan Division. The Islanders actually kind of fell off and the Flyers went off. I feel like we must have placed top, no, maybe not top 10 in the league, but let's see, entire league... 96 points, so we are... Where are we? We're eighth! So we were top 10. And still fourth in our division. That is insanity. And we're going up against the third place Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, the Flyers have McDavid, right? That's the team that put us out last year. Yeah, okay. Johnny Goudreau over point a game. And Ken Johnson, not so much. Marchenko, 
That's cap. I don't believe it for one second. 65 points from Adrian Kempe. And let's check out some goaltender stats, shall we? A 908. Holy crap. Chris Reger went off. He might have gone more off than the Philadelphia Flyers. 7 1 and 1 with a shutout, a 947, and a 174. I think we should have played him a little bit more. Yeah, I'm a poet. In the entire league, we got Kata Hat with a 909, 45 Ws, and his GAA would be a 279. Sorokin had 42 wins, and then Gustafsson and Ottinger, 41 apiece. But Jake Yo had a sub 900 save percentage. What? happened there. Kale would be the only player to go over point a game. He had 83. Was a dash 10, however, for the San Jose Sharks. Power still with the Buffalo Sabres, put up 75. Riley was 73, still in the lease, and then a big drop-off. Couple of 62s here. And it was not even close. Miko Rantanen is having himself a career on the Vancouver Canucks. 67 goals, so definitely got the Rocket Richard as well. He is going to clean up at the awards ceremony. Nine game-winning goals. Well, here's the playoff tree. We are in the bottom corner there, which I am probably currently covering. Actually, I'm probably not because I just said that, and I'm gonna hear it in the edit be like wait a minute what am i covering and then i'm gonna move it but this is what it looks like so we are back in the lofts after finishing eighth in the entire league we're going up against the third place tampa bay lightning which is i guess a little bit better than going up against the president's trophy winners but last year we made light work of them so let's try to do the same thing this time around and if we do end up rematching against connor it won't be until the final of the conference all right thank you guys for watching appreciate you as always and yeah hopefully you're still enjoying the series if you could leave a like and subscribe that'd be great i gotta get out of here because i just yeah my ability to speak is going downhill even more. So love that. See you soon.